Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another week of online learning. Here is your Monday's art enrichment lesson. This week we are going to be doing the theme of Mother's Day and we are going to be doing a bunch of Mother's Day crafts. Today's project is a nice, simple, and easy one. You just need a few supplies to be able to make it. I'm super excited about it. It's a little flower that says, my mom is, and then you get to fill it in with a bunch of things that you believe your mother is. I'm super excited about this one. Let's flip the camera over and get it started. So here are my supplies that I'm going to be using laid out today. You're going to need some kind of background piece of paper. If you don't have construction paper, it can be just white paper. Um, then I do have this white paper that I'm going to be drawing on. You're going to need something to cut with, something to draw with. This is mechanical pencil. You're going to need some kind of glue, whatever glue you have on hand, and then something to color with. The colors do not matter. They can be crayons, color pencils, markers, pens, anything. I'm just going to be using markers today. Okay, so set some of this aside. Oh, this little guy is just something round to help me draw a circle. So, step number one is actually going to be drawing that circle. So place this on here, take my pencil, go around. There we go, I had to fix it just a little bit. That is okay with me. And then we need to make some petals for our flower. We are going to use a U shape. I'm gonna use the edge over here. Okay, so this is my letter U. I wanna curve this a little bit more. This come in, and then it can be flat along the bottom. Your petal shape can be any shape you want it to be. Ooh, the eraser does not like to stay up on this pencil. There we go. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is a little art teacher hack. I'm going to cut this petal out and then I'm going to trace it several more times so that all my petals are exactly the same size. Okay, now that I have that cut, I'm going to use the edge of my paper. I'm going to trace my flower petal. There we go. I have traced my flower petal six times and I have my center circle. Now here is my mess mat because I don't want to color on the green one that I'm going to make my beautiful flower on. And just grab whatever kind of colors you want and color away at your petals. You'll, you can do all the same colors if you want to. You could do every single petal a different color. You could do a rainbow. You can make a pattern. The petals are completely up to you. You do you. I am going to do, I have to do a rainbow. Fast forward. All right, there we go. I'm all done coloring. Put my markers away and cut out my petals. All right, all cut out. I totally forgot about my circle. Let's get that colored and cut as well. There we go. There is my circle colored and cut. All right, so I don't need my mess mat anymore. 
I do not need this whole big piece of green paper. I am going to use um, the corner over here. So this is kind of going to be my center, but I'm not going to glue it down yet. All of these petals are going to need to go around. So I want to make sure that all my petals fit. See how this one kind of needs a little bit more room? Okay. I like it. So this is where I'm going to be gluing it down. Um, if you don't want to use markers or color pencils on paper and you actually have construction paper at home, you can also make these petals out of construction paper and then you can skip the whole coloring step completely. Alright, so what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to do a little dot of glue right here in the center. But I don't want my edges completely glued down. Now these flower petals also are not completely glued down. They're just a little bit glued down. So right here, only on this back tiny little portion is where I am putting glue. Let's do some fast forwarding. Now I want to come in and glue my circle down completely. Okay. Now, just to make this thing have a little bit of an extra pop, I'm going to come in here with my black Sharpie. If you guys don't have a black Sharpie, a black marker, or a color pencil, or a black crayon, anything that is going to add nice dark lines is what you want to use. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Okay. So first, I want to go around my circle. And now I want to go onto my petals and onto this green mat. So let the line be on the petal and on the green underneath. Remember, yours does not have to be green. Yours can be another color. There we go. Now that I have outlined everything, um, there's a reason we did it on the green paper too, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. So, on this center circle, we are going to write, My mom is. There we go. My mom is. You can make these letters as fancy as you want um, or as simple as you want. And then underneath all of these petals, I want you to write something about your mom. One word or two words, anything that comes to mind. So if I'm thinking about my mom, I want to say my mom is kind. My mom is sweet. My mom is loving. My mom is my friend. My mom is a joy to be around. And my mom is love. So, you don't have to use my words. If you want to come up with your own words, that is totally fine. The very last step to this project 
is just going to be cutting my construction paper smaller simply because I have big, huge construction paper. I finally found my big ruler, guys. I'm super excited about this. So, seven inches by seven inches. Yep, seven inches. Here we go. Here is my first Mother's Day project. We will be making a lot more this week. I hope this inspires you. Come up with lots of different words to write behind this. I'm sure your mom is going to love it. All right, guys. Happy creating.